What's up guys, it's your boy Irfan. Welcome back to another video. So I hope you're doing well and staying safe during these crazy times. And today I have a special, special video for you guys, which is going over COVID vaccines and essentially debunking few myths that is circulating around about them. So that being said, let's get right into the video. Before we get started and talk about the vaccine, it is crucial to understand how coronavirus work. How does it enter a cell? How does it hijack a cell? Well, let's take a moment and look at the image of a coronavirus. We can see some proteins are coming out of the surface of this coronavirus. These are called spike proteins. Interestingly, they look like a crown. This is why this virus was called coronavirus, because of these uh, proteins on top of it. They look like a crown. These spike proteins, also known as the crown proteins, are then going to act as a key and interact with a unique receptor on the cell called ACE2. The name is not really that important here, but the general understanding is that this lock and key system allows a coronavirus to enter a cell and hijack it. So once the virus enters the cell, What's next? Well, it's going to release its genetic material, RNA, and hijack few machinery systems throughout the cell. So basically, making that cell a virus-producing factory, which is insane to think about it. A study actually showed that a cell can make up to 600,000 viral particles. So to summarize everything, a virus enters a cell, hijacks it, allows for immense amounts of replication and then it exits out of the cell and can affect other cells around it, allowing for more and more and more virus to be made. Okay, so now that we have gone over coronavirus itself, it is important to go over COVID vaccine and how does it work. I personally had a lot of questions on this matter, uh, but prior to explain about COVID vaccine, it is important to go over the types of vaccines that are out there and which type does COVID vaccine fall under. It's important to remember that vaccines teach our immune system how to respond to a threat. And there are four main types of vaccines, live attenuated, inactivated, toxoid, and recombinant protein. Let's actually now go over these vaccines themselves. You'll probably be shocked that you had these vaccines before. So for live attenuated vaccine, it exposes us to a weakened virus or bacteria, just like the measles vaccine. Uh, so for inactivated vaccines, it actually exposes us to a dead virus or bacteria, uh, just like the flu shot. Um, and then for the toxoid vaccine, it actually exposes us to an inert version of the toxin instead of the virus. Uh, this is like the tetanus shot. And for the fourth type of vaccine, the recombinant protein, it exposes us to a small portion of the virus instead of the whole virus. And this is just like um, the HPV uh, vaccine. So as you can see, you probably had some of these vaccines before and they're not scary at all. Okay, now you might wonder, or fine, you went over all these vaccine types, uh, but which uh, type is the COVID vaccine type? Well, that's a very solid question. Um, actually, um, none of them, because the COVID vaccine type is a new uh, type of vaccines. It's called mRNA vaccine. It's actually pretty similar to the fourth type of vaccine, recombinant protein, but there's a small difference, and I will take a time to explain the difference. The way this mRNA vaccine works is that researchers found part of the genetic sequence that codes for spike proteins. So basically, when mRNA is injected to our body, a cell is going to read that mRNA through a machinery called ribosome. Think of this process as simple as just knitting. When you knit, you have a thread. So that thread turns into a sweater. Ribosome is the same way. It takes that mRNA, the thread, and turns it into a protein, uh, a nice sweater. That protein, in this case, is spike protein. Once the ribosome makes that spike protein, it's actually our own immune system is going to come in and see that spike protein as a threat. So it's going to build antibodies for that spike protein. This is crucial because if you ever got coronavirus, which I hope you don't, knock on wood, uh, then your immune system is ready because you made antibodies for these spike proteins. So when the coronavirus enters, the spike proteins of the 
uh, coronavirus will be recognized via the antibodies, and the antibodies will bind to these spike proteins and inhibit them from interacting with ACE2 receptors on your cells. If you recall, spike proteins were the key and the ACE2 receptors were the lock. So if you alter the key, the key will not open the lock. So coronavirus will not be able to enter your cells and replicate. Isn't that interesting? Um, so basically, you will inhibit coronavirus from entering your cell. And also amazingly, when these antibodies uh, attach to these spike proteins, um, it's like a, like a alert system so your immune cells will come in and like warriors they will degrade the coronavirus um, so that's and is essentially it like the whole process of how the mRNA vaccine works um, so now that you have a general understanding of coronavirus itself the vaccine uh, it's time to debunk some myths that is circling around social media even on our own campus and uh, I will hand the mic to scientist Earth and he will take it away from us Alrighty, thank you Earthman for the introduction. Now we debunk the myths about COVID vaccine. So for the first myth, we have, if you take the COVID vaccine, you will get COVID. Um, so do COVID vaccines have COVID in them? The answer is no. Uh, the COVID vaccines are mRNA vaccines. So as we talked earlier, this mRNA vaccine is solely responsible for the spike proteins on coronavirus. Uh, so you should not worry at all for getting the whole virus into you because you're strictly going to get the spike proteins of the coronavirus. So don't worry about that myth at all. For the second myth, we have COVID vaccine changes your genetics and DNA. So this is not true at all. Again, we talked about this. mRNA vaccine is solely focusing on ribosome machinery in the cell and not the nucleus. We know that nucleus holds the genetic material and DNA. So if we are not touching the nucleus and we are only focusing on ribosome machinery in the cell, we can make a case that this vaccine is not going to change your genetics and it's not going to alter your DNA. So do not worry about this myth again. So for the third myth we have, this vaccine was rushed, so it is not safe. Yes, I believe you. This vaccine was rushed. It was the fastest vaccine that we ever got. I mean, the fastest vaccine that we got before, it almost took four years, which was the mumps vaccine. But do not panic at all. We first gotta realize that the guidelines and procedures for this vaccine were followed truly. So no step was skipped at all. And also, we gotta realize that this technology, mRNA technology, which sounds new, we've been working on this technology for almost 30 years. So it is not a new technology that was just, uh, just jumped out of air for like a year. Uh, no, we've been working on this for almost 30 years. And also, we gotta realize that the mRNA code that is responsible for the spike protein, with the help of all researchers throughout the world, we got that under a month. That is huge because usually it would take a year or years. So this vaccine was not rushed. Rather, it truly showed us how strong and united we can be if we all work together and combat one issue at a time. So you're not, think, you're not wrong thinking that, oh, this vaccine was rushed. Rather, I can assure you that this vaccine is safe and effective. For the fourth myth, some people think that they don't need to take the vaccine because it will only kill 1% of the population. 1% may not seem a lot to you, but if we think globally, it is millions of people. The lives of all those 1% matter. We cannot take this as a joke. Coronavirus does not know age. It can attack anybody. So we as a community need to work together. If we don't, this coronavirus can gain mutation anytime. So let's work together on this matter and take the vaccine. And as we know, millions of people have passed away. And if we don't take the right steps, millions of more other people are gonna die. So it is on you to really think that if this is a joke or this is real please consider taking in the vaccine. For the final myth, we have some people that say they don't want the COVID vaccine because it is not 100% effective. You're right, COVID vaccine is not 100% effective, but so is flu shot. 
flu shot is around 50% effective and we get it all the time. So having this COVID vaccine being 95% effective is a true blessing. Let me ask you, would you rather to have 0% protectivity against coronavirus or 95% protectivity against coronavirus? I hope you chose the 95% protectivity. So let me ask you, would you rather to walk around your neighborhood without mask? Would you rather want the old, good old days back? Would you rather to go back to school like the normal days? These are all possible if we all unite and take the vaccine. This is not just gonna go away by its own. We have to take on the right steps. And the right step right now is to get vaccinated. I know there's a lot more myths out there that I missed, but I can assure you that this vaccine is safe and trust me, this vaccine that we have is effective and it's gonna show promising results in the near future. And I hope you consider taking this vaccine. Um, I want all, everyone to be safe. Um, it's heartbreaking to look at everything around news, um, but trust me, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please, please ask me any questions you have regarding the vaccine, regarding coronavirus, or if you just wanna talk, uh, if you're having a hard time during these times, because I sure I had, uh, so I truly understand uh, if you wanna contact me. Um, I will drop my email, Instagram, everything, all my social media is down below. So reach out to me. Uh, we're here to help you. Uh, we're all gonna unite on this matter. We're gonna fix this. And hopefully, hopefully near future, uh, we all can live with, uh, without mask uh, and have zero uh, coronavirus. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope to see you soon. So uh, it's been your boy. Uh, I'll see you all to the next video. Peace out.